and I'm back again. And this vlog's gonna be kind of like a sequel to another vlog that I made a little while ago. Uh, about uh, me, uh, the the vlog was about how I should speak up more and say more. Uh, I think I was actually in the same spot for that video, so uh, uh, it works out. <laughs> but uh, this one, I wanted to talk about uh, how I should speak up sooner and not not wait to say something because um, I I tend to kind of just wait for people to notice me to acknowledge me and then and then I start to speak to them or I kind of just stand off to the side and if like they're in a conversation with with another person I'll just kind of stand off to the side quietly and, and wait for them to finish uh, the conversation or take a break from it because uh, I don't want to interrupt uh, be rude but I, I guess I could still be pro polite about it uh, this weekend I'm going to going to go help uh, a friend who, who's in college right now and he, he's making a, a short film uh, he, he wrote with another buddy and they're filming it uh, over three days I guess it is uh, the schedule keeps changing because one of the days got moved to last Sunday and I I went over and helped them out and was there on the, on the set if you can call it that uh, before I went to work because I'm now working at 2 p.m. Uh, but anyway the other two days were supposed to be Sunday and Monday. Well, it was supposed to be Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Then Tuesday got moved to last Sunday. And so I was waiting to make sure the schedule was set before I asked for days off from work. And they, they finally got set to Sunday and Monday. And then last Friday yeah last Friday I was gonna, gonna uh, write on the, the schedule that I needed Sunday Monday off uh, and that day work was a little busier than it had been so I, I just uh, I just kept pushing uh, pushing it back, wait, waiting uh, longer to ask for the days off. And then in the middle of my shift, uh, my boss actually posts the schedule for next week, which I've never seen him post his schedule uh, on a Friday before. Usually it's Monday or Tuesday that he posts the schedule but for, for his next week. It's, so when I was, when I saw the schedule, I'm like, no, no, no. I, I waited too long and when I saw the schedule, I, I knew I had to go talk to him because I had Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday off, but not Sunday. So it, it almost worked out without me saying anything. But 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 I 
I knew I had to say something, but then for me, it's just like building up nerves or courage, something to to go talk to someone. It took a little while, but I finally did. And I, you know, I, and at first my boss was a little frustrated, but uh, uh, and asked me why I didn't speak up sooner or asked sooner. And I said it was because my schedule was changing, but he, he did allow me to get Sunday off and I actually switched shifts with another coworker on Tuesday. So I, I'm working Tuesday, but then yesterday or the day before I get an email from my friend who's doing the shoot saying that Monday's schedule has been moved to Tuesday. You're killing me, small! But I can't do anything about it now. She waited. It's, I can't switch shifts again uh, for a second time. I know that that's too much. There's too much shift switching going on here, and I don't like shift switching. It's too hard to say. But Sunday's still my day off, so... And they're still shooting, so that's good. I can make that day. And there's this one other thing I feel like I should have said something about, but I didn't. Like, um, as I said, I'm working evenings 2 to 9 p.m. Uh, and, and now there's a new guy working the late evening for the midnight shift. Uh, he's a, one of the other managers and he got switched to that shift because of a policy change. But this one day, uh, I was just all set to go. It was like five minutes before nine. And then uh, the guy says, I'm just going to use the restroom before, before you leave, which is fine with me because otherwise uh, he'll be stuck there uh, from nine till midnight without having to without being able to use the restroom because he's the only one in the store. So that's totally fine, but then he, he's just gone for a, a long time and, and I can't really leave the cash register because there's customers coming in and out, so I have to help them. But then I see the guy in the back going in and out of the freezer, getting stuff and putting it out. I'm like, what are you doing? It's it's past nine. I'm, I'm supposed to be out of here. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. I don't think there was a line for the restaurant or anything because there weren't that many people in there in the store. But by the time I got off work, it was almost 10, like, I think 15 minutes before 10, uh, and I didn't ask him what happened, uh, I feel like I should have asked him something, like, hey, I was supposed to get off at 9, and it's already past that something like that the store also wants me out on time otherwise they they'll uh, have to pay me more if it ever happens again i'll i i'll ask i'll be sure to ask 
I don't want it to happen again. And he, he's usually good at the time. When they retired, he, he uh, let me off early because the business was so slow. But just that one time, uh, that one night, I wish I had said something, spoken up. Yeah, that's all for this vlog. I'll just uh, keep working on speaking up sooner and more often. So, until next video, uh, later.